Okay, not focusing. Again, I wish there was a um, smelly cam. Because <laughs> uh, all these roses, these are the first ones to come out. All these roses smell beautiful. Um, they don't last long. Uh, on this one, there's so many and they come out really fast and then they the petals start falling off pretty much as soon as they come out. So, but there's always lots, there's always so many on this rose bush. Um, I've lowered the, uh, I've got four minutes of recording, okay, so I won't ramble, but I've lowered the, um, the brightness on the camera because everything I film at the moment is glowing white. My last video, um, I was actually wearing a creamy coloured uh, hoodie. Um, since then it's warmed up a bit and yeah on the video you could see it was uh, glowing white. Oh, I made that, made that for my dad. Um, anyway, let's have a look. Okay, I think it's around 11 o'clock a.m. And that's not going to focus either. It's nearly, it's, it's 31 degrees, 31 degrees in my backyard. That sun's really hot, so we'll take a quick tour. Um, the bees have actually found the lavender bush. Um, I've noticed uh, there's more bees this year, but their behaviour has changed like the rest of the world. They're, they're confused. Um, a lot of them hang around in that corner um, and if the door's open, which it normally is for the dog, uh, they fly in the house um, and they're very confused. They, they keep flying around in circles when they're over there um, and that's not normal. But these ones have found the lavender. Um, if I suddenly scream and run, it's because I'm allergic. Um, it's because I'm allergic to bee stings. Anyway, raspberry bush. As uh, this year, second year, it's going to have raspberries on it. See, been waiting. So I have to beat the birds to them this year and it's going to be covered in roses across the top. That's going to look beautiful. All the freezers have just about had it and now the roses, now the roses are starting to come out and bring some colour back to the garden. That's a mini hibiscus, uh, mauve, mauve colour when that comes out. And these didn't do very well. Uh, all the leaves are brown but the flowers have just, the flowers are just beautiful. There's, there's so many more this year. Anyway, running out of time. I'm show you the good stuff. Daisies, I love how they're growing around the tree and I love that colour. We're in a drought so I'm trying not to use much water. That needs lots of water and it keeps flopping. <laughs> Yellow pansy. Maple trees are all out. Normally those leaves coincide with the freesias underneath and um, that didn't happen this year. All the freesias came out early. But now we have all the maple trees. And oh, that was still with us yesterday. That's the white freesia I've been talking about. I'll put a um, photo of it up at the end of this video. I've got like 15 seconds. So anyway, that's pretty much all there is. Um, daisies back there. Pretty much all there is. Who's to say what's impossible? Well, they forgot this world keeps spinning, and with each new day, I can feel a change in everything. 
And as the surface breaks, reflections fade. But in some ways, they remain the same. And as my mind begins to spread its wings, now there's no stopping curiosity. I wanna turn the whole thing up. thing up. Who's to say what's impossible?